Welcome guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to set up your Oculus Quest with Unity to start creating VR content. Once you follow this tutorial, you can follow any of my other tutorials and create any of the games. First of all, let's download Visual Studio. I'm using the latest version, 2019 Community Edition. It's free, uh, everything in this tutorial is totally free. Install it. Select your settings. I'm using dark theme. And finally, when that is done, you can uh, either skip this step uh, and do not create an account, but they will make you do it in 30 days or so. so you might as well just create one. I'm gonna sign in to my account. And that is it for Visual Studio for now. You can close the browser and, or you can keep the browser, but close Visual Studio. Next, we need to download the Unity Hub. You can find the links in the description. Download Unity Hub. Double click the installer to install the Unity Hub. We need to activate the license for the Unity Hub. So if you do not have an account, create a account. I'm just gonna log into my account. Now at the top of the page, activate new license. Personal is free, as long as you're not a professional. And there we go. So now we need to install a uh, version of the editor. This is only the Unity Hub. This is not the editor. So go to installs, add, and add 2019.2.19 F1. If you watch this in the future, you can use a newer version that ends with F1. That means that it's final, and they are not doing any more changes to it. If you use a newer version, it might not be stable. You might get really weird bugs and stuff that's very hard to fix since it's only an alpha or beta version. So hit next. Select Android build support. Make sure both these are checked, SDK, NDK and OpenJDK. And you might as well if you're ever gonna build apps or anything, you might check uh, Apple, iOS, uh, Windows build support is always good, and documentation. So keep it like this, hit next, accept, and now just let it install, this will take some time. I'm gonna pause the recording. And now the installation is done. And as you can see, Android build support is installed, iOS and Windows. If you do not see these, something went wrong in your installation and you will not be able to build to the Oculus Quest. If this is an issue, hit these three little uh, dots and click add modules and now you can add whatever is missing all right 
So let's start a new project. Uh, and here we go inside unity go to the asset store if you do not have the asset store tab here you can go window asset store or control 9 search for the oculus integration download and when the download is complete we will import it You will get these pop-ups once you've done the import just hit yes and restart upgrade restart just accept whatever pops up now that is done go back to your scene delete the main camera I have already deleted it you just select it right click on it delete or select and hit delete on your keyboard Anyway, once the main camera is deleted from your sample scene, you go to your project folder and search for the OVR player controller. Drag this, <coughs> drag this into your hierarchy. And now, right click in your hierarchy, 3D object, plane. Select your OVR player controller Add component in the inspector window. Search for character camera constraint. And now we need to drag the OVR camera rig to the OVR camera rig slot in the script we just added. We can also add a cube so we have something to look at when we test this out so right click in the hierarchy 3d object cube drag it and place it wherever you feel and go back to your assets folder create a material material let's call it blue select the material in the inspector change the color of it now drag it to the cube we also have to fix the settings so that unity knows that it's supposed to build to your oculus quest hit file in the top left corner build settings android add open scenes on texture compression ASTC compression method LC4 switch platform this will might take some time just let it uh, compile next we go to player settings in the lower left corner in the build settings window you can scroll down and right here hit the little plus button Make sure virtual reality supported is checked and then add oculus check v2 signing for the quest single pass on the stereo rendering mode then you go to other settings change the color space to linear 
we need to remove Vulkan from the graphics APIs. So select it and hit the minus button. And scroll down. Minimum API level. Go with seven. And target, choose whatever is the newest one. You can leave that. Set this to .NET 4.x. And that's the API compatibility level that you set to .NET 4.x. And that's everything for the player settings. Now we need to go to the quality settings. Inside quality, we need to remove all but one, leave the very low and rename it to quest. Set texture quality to full res and isotropic textures to per track texture and anti-aliasing aliasing that's a hard word <laughs> 4x multi-sampling and this looks correct yes one bone uh, yes the rest is correct make sure you have these settings now we need to go to time and the oculus quest runs on 72 hertz so it's very important that we change the fixed time step to this number you can do 1 divided by 72 and you get 72 hertz and i think this is it for now you can plug in your Oculus Quest and hit build and run. Now this will build out to your Oculus Quest. This might also take a few minutes. If you get this pop up, put your headset on and accept uh, that your computer is allowed to connect to your Oculus Quest, then hit retry. And now if you put on your headset, you should see what I see and be able to move around using your thumbsticks on your Oculus Touch controllers. And uh, that is it guys. Now you can follow any of my tutorials and you can build zombie games, flying games and driving games and whatever I put up. Um, right right now you're only building out to the oculus quest so it will take more time than necessary if you want to be able to use just the little play button to be able to test inside your headset with it plugged in using the oculus link you will have to add this functionality there's many tutorials online i might wake make one soon if there is one i will link it in the top right corner and in the description if I have not created one, just to YouTube it, there are many and it's not very hard. So if you have any questions or issues, ask me in the comment section. Please like and subscribe and support me on Patreon. Have fun guys.